Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. In today's video, we are going to discuss important questions based on chapter 3 that is Boolean logic. If we talk about this chapter, the first important topic is logic gates. You may or may not get question directly on this topic but you should be aware with the gates. Hope you are well familiar with all the gates. If not, I would suggest you to go through this playlist where all the topics are covered in one shot. Out of these two types of gates, you should be well familiar with the basic gates because the knowledge of these three gates will be helpful to solve other types of questions. Let me explain these three gates in short. NOT gate works on a single input and it negates the value. If input is 1, it will be 0. If it is 0, it will be 1. NOT gate is represented by triangle with bubble on it. And when we label the gate, if the input variable we are taking x, the result we will be writing as x bar. That was about NOT gate. Then what about OR? OR works on two or more input signals. If any one input is 1, then the output will be 1 in case of OR gate. Which symbol is used to represent OR gate? We can remember it like a lotus petal. And let's draw the input. It will take minimum two inputs and produces a single output. If we are taking variable x and y as input, output we will be writing as x plus y. Now it's time to discuss AND gate. AND gate also works on two or more signals. What's the working of AND gate? Both the input should be one, then only the output will be one. And what's the symbol for AND gate? It's just like a letter D. And here are the inputs. It also produces a single output. If the input variables are x and y, the operation we will be writing as x dot y. Now I trust you, you will keep in mind the working symbol and the result of these logic gates. Once you get these three basic gates, it will be easy for you to understand these derived gates too. Now if we get any question based on the logic gates, you can solve it easily. Explain the operation in words, draw the truth table and draw the symbol. Moving ahead to the next important topic on which you may get question that is principle of duality. What does it mean? It's very simple. To find the dual, we will be changing OR sign with the AND sign. And if you have AND sign, that you will be changing with OR symbol. And what if you have zeros and ones? Zero will get replaced by one and one by zero. Now let's try to solve one question based on it. We need to find the dual of the following. Let's solve it step by step. In bracket we have a complement. It will be as it is. It is followed by dot. Dot means and. It will get replaced with or. First we will concentrate on the gate. Then we will replace ones and zeros. After the bracket there is plus. Plus means or. It will get replaced with and. In the second bracket there is a B complement, it will be as it is. Dot means and it will get replaced with or. 0 I am placing as it is for now equals to 0. In the next step I am gonna replace 1 with 0 and 0 with 1. So it will be A complement plus 0 dot B complement plus 1 equals to 1. In this way we got the dual, it's so simple. I hope you understood the concept. Now let's try to solve the second one. In bracket we have A complement or operator will get replaced with AND then B complement. We could see one more OR operator that will get replaced with AND 1 equals to 1. In the next step we will take care of zeros and 1s. So A complement dot B complement will be as it is followed by dot 1 will get replaced with 0 in the same way this one also will get replaced with 0. In this way, we got dual for this question too. Alright then, let's move ahead to the next topic. Here are some basic theorems of Boolean algebra. You need to go through it because you will be getting question based on it like state the law and prove it. You may think there are lot of laws and you cannot remember all those laws. But believe me, they are very simple. Most of the laws you might have studied in maths. The only difference here we are applying it on the boolean value. And if you want to attempt this question, you must remember these laws. <laughs> Moving ahead to the next category of questions. In the first one, you need to evaluate the boolean expression using truth table. 
Let's solve one example based on this topic. Here is the Boolean expression. We need to prove left hand side is equals to right hand side. Analyze the expression. We have two variable x and y. And here are the possible combinations for these two variables. If there are two variables, we will be getting four possible combinations. To evaluate this expression, first we need to find out this operation. It's a AND operation. If you cannot see anything, means it's a dot. Dot means it's an AND operation. So let's evaluate x dot y. What AND logic gate says, if both the inputs are 1, then only the output will be 1, otherwise 0. Looking at the expression, now we need to find out the OR operation between this term and X. What OR logic gate says? If any of the input is 1, we will be getting output as 1, otherwise 0. In this way, we evaluated the left hand side which we are getting in the column 4. It is equals to X. Let's check out the column 1. Yes, the values are equal to X. So from the truth table we can say that column 1 and 4 are equal hence we proved this equation. Now what's the next category of the question? We need to design logical circuit for the given boolean expression. Let's solve one question. Here is the expression we need to draw the logic circuit. Analyze the expression. We could see there are three inputs. So the first one is A, second one is B and the third one is C. If we look at these three variables, B has complement. To draw the complement, we will use not in this way. We got the B complement. You can write like a bar or you can write like this also. In between these three variables, we couldn't see anything. It means it's a dot. Dot means it's an AND logic gate. To draw AND logic gate, we use letter D. Here is the single output. We got A, B complement and C. Now let's look at the next term. There are two variables C and B. But C is complemented means we need to draw not logic gate with C. In this way we got C complement and here it's a B. In between them we have and logic gate. So let's draw the D. Here is the output C complement B. Look at the expression. In between the first term and second term, we have OR logic gate. So let's narrow down it so that we can draw the OR gate. OR we draw like a lotus petal. With this, we got final output. Let's label it A complement B C plus C complement B. In this way, you will be drawing the logic gates. Try to break down the expression and then you can draw it easily. Hope you understood this explanation. From this chapter you may get the question like this where you need to write the boolean expression for the given logic circuit. So here is the question. We need to find out the boolean expression for this corresponding logic circuit. Look at the first gate. It is looking like a lotus petal means it's a OR gate. Look at the input variables. It is P and Q. P is coming directly to this OR gate but we have NOT gate applied to the Q. Means we will be getting complement of Q. So here is the result of the first OR gate. Now look at the second OR gate. The first input is Q and the second input is R. Q is directly coming to the OR gate but we could see there is a NOT operator applied to R means we are getting complement of R. So here is the result of the second OR gate. Now let's move ahead we could see the letter D means it's an AND gate. For AND gate we can write dot. So AND operator is applied to these boolean expressions. Here is our final boolean expression. Hope you understood this concept. That's why in the beginning itself I told you, you should be well familiar with these basic gates because we will be using it in the different questions. There is one more important topic in this chapter that we should not miss that is De Morgan's law. There are two De Morgan's law. One is for OR logic gate and the other one is for AND logic gate. We know how to keep this in mind. 
break the line and change the sign so you may get the question just like this where you need to state the de morgan law and verify it using truth table so let me explain how to solve this question first you need to state the law here is the first de morgan's law now it's time to prove it using truth table we need to prove that left hand side will be equals to right hand side we could see there are two variables you know the combinations for these two variables we will be taking 0011 0101 in the left hand side first we will calculate x plus y that is or operation between two variables in case of or if any one input is one we will get one otherwise zero now let's calculate the complement of it 0 will be 1 1 will be 0 1 will be 0 and 1 will be 0 in this way we got the left hand side now let's calculate the right hand side in right hand side we could see x complement so in this column we are gonna evaluate x complement x is 0 so x complement will be 1 here 0 will become 1 1 will become 0 1 will become 0 in the same way we need to evaluate y complement y is 0 so the complement of y will be 1 then 1 will be 0 0 will be 1 and 1 will be 0 followed by that we need to calculate the and operation between these two in case of and if both the inputs are 1 then only the output will be 1 otherwise 0 let's mark the column this is first second third fourth fifth sixth and here is the seventh column the left hand side term we have evaluated in the column 4 and the right hand side term we have got in the column 7 look at this both the columns entries are same so from that we can tell that x plus y whole bar is equals to x bar dot y bar if you want to prove the second law you can apply the same concept hey that's a wrap for today's video in case of any doubt let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful do share with your friends in the next video we will be covering important questions from the chapter number 4 that is introduction to problem solving so until next time stay curious stay healthy i will see you in the next video